Hi, I'm Jessica, and I'm one of the technicians here at Dove Lewis, and I'm here to talk to you today about patient warming, but more specifically, patient IV fluid warming. Hypothermia is very common in emergency medicine, and one of the ways that we can help get their core temperature up is a fluid warmer. The most important thing when setting up the IV fluid warmer is to have the IV fluid warmer no more than 10 inches away from a patient. This is most helpful in patients that are not very mobile, maybe they're anesthetized or laterally recumbent, because if you have a happy moving around lab with the IV fluid warmer, it's either not gonna stay on there very long or not be so helpful. So first you will wanna plug in your fluid warmer and it will alarm just to let you know that it's starting to work. After you've plugged in your fluid warmer, you will notice that it says run and the light is lighting up. Um, once it reaches the maximum temperature, which in this case, this one is 41 degrees Celsius or 105 degrees Fahrenheit, the run will turn off and when it drops below a certain um, degree, it will, also, it will start warming it again. So you will open your fluid warmer and then position it close to your patient. Remember that the closer you put it to your patient, the warmer the fluids will be when they reach the patient. Once you've put your fluid line into the groove that is in there, you'll close it and make sure that it doesn't catch anywhere. And it will tell you on the front that it is heating up um, to the appropriate temperature. And now this will continue to warm Cosmos fluids as he receives them. And that is how you use a patient fluid warmer.